Tonight, I will show you how to surf. Surfing is all about understanding the waves. Some waves grow big, but then they break. Other waves grow big, and they go all the way to the shore. Surfing is all about selecting the right waves, letting others pass. But surfing is also about the time in catching the wave, and about the positioning of keeping standing in the wave. Technology develops just like a wave. Some technologies grow big, but then they break. Other technologies grow big, and they go all the way to market success. Companies of any industry need to understand which technology wave to select, understanding where to invest in technology. But they also need the right timing, understand when to invest, and the right position of understanding how much to invest. Not only technology develops, but also the competitive environment is changing every day. Let's say you're a car manufacturer, and today you compete with Volkswagen, BMW, or Mercedes. Well, tomorrow you might as well be competing to Google or Apple, who are building cars right now. IP Lytics is helping companies to always be on top of the technology wave, leaving their competitors stranded at the beach. But how are companies catching the technology wave today? Well, sometimes not at all. And this is because understanding technology trends can be very time-consuming and inefficient. So what is the current practice? Today, a company pays up to 10 people, consultants or employees, for let's say four months, they have to meet at least 20 times and then they have one technology report. The problem with that, that employs staff, it's very time consuming, that creates cost, and if you have your technology report after four months, you're already one step behind. IPlytics is changing that practice while having a one platform solution with only one click results. On only one platform, we source worldwide data on intellectual property such as patents, standards, products. We clean, harmonize that data, and then, most importantly, we use new methods of connecting and correlating that data and then visualizing at a single glance. Having a one platform solution allows one click results. Like people are using Google to serve the internet, companies are already using IPlytics to serve technology. And that with only one click. Let's have a look. Let's say you're a German car manufacturer and you're interested in a new technology, autonomous driving. You just type in the keyword and with only one click, you can spot the current market players. And as you see, Google is actually one of the leading ones right now. And with only click, with one click, you can see the technology trends and the different technology waves. And with only one click, you can identify the markets on the map. But what's essential for understanding technology trends is having reliable and trustworthy results. We ensure, and here we're the only ones, scientifically validated results, which is based on the established expert knowledge of our great team, but also to a strong research link on leading scientific institutions like the Fraunhofer, the TU Berlin, Northwestern Chicago, or Paris Tech. Our team of experts consists of my co-founder Dimitri's expert knowledge in information retrieval, on Razan's expert knowledge in communication marketing, and on my background, having a four-year PhD on intellectual property data statistics. We also have three mentors that support us. Knut Blind, who is a professor in innovation economics here at the TU Berlin, Heike Büttner from EY, who is an expert in finance, and Louie Baspus from Fraunhofer, who is an expert in big data applications. We are in a blue ocean market with loads of fish. Worldwide spending for R&D are beyond 400 billion per year. And actually, 10% of that spending goes to intellectual property analytics. This creates 
an addressable market for IPlytics of 40 billion euros. We are live and we make money. And here are some of our fish. Qualcomm's R&D department is using IPlytics right now to spot new trends in research and development for digital communication. The licensing department of Nokia is using IPlytics to screen the market for video coding technologies. And LG's mergers and acquisition department uses IPlytics to spot new investment possibilities for display designs. We offer a software as a service solution where a client simply subscribes to our platform for a month, for a year. And that business model is actually very scalable. And here comes the wave we are surfing, the revenue wave. By 2018, we make 40 million euro per year. You are all very lucky, because tonight you are in a very good position of having the right timing catching our wave. <laughs> Don't miss it, and come serve with us. Thank you.